You know, photographing children obviously comes with its own responsibilities because, um, you know, they're very young. But, you know, often their stories are the most important stories to tell because, you know, for children, often being brought up in, in somewhere like Angola, for example, all they've ever known is conflict. All they've ever seen in South Sudan is conflict. That was actually one of the, the turning points in my, in my career, that photograph of a young boy who'd been shot in the fighting in, in South Sudan. But that evening, I actually spoke to the doctor, Dr. Murray, and I said to him, you know, I don't think I can actually do this work anymore. I said I felt like a vulture. I felt completely inhuman taking that photograph. And he was saying that as a child, National Geographic had really inspired him to become a doctor. And actually photographs like the one I was taking had actually made him want to go and work wow. in Africa. He looks about 10 or 11. Um, and that image was just taken a couple of days before the other image you talked about. There was this kind of sense of, of you know, seeing these child soldiers and then seeing the reality for what happened to them in this hospital. Well, those pictures were taken in 2009. We're going to look at some now taken in refugee camps in 2014. In that period, you were seriously injured. You're still taking photographs. You've lost an arm, you've lost two legs. How do you work and why do you go on working? <laughs> well, um, I spent a year in hospital um, and during that period I was told I probably would never walk again and, and would doubtfully live independently. Um, and the decision I made when I was in hospital was I would never focus on the things I couldn't do, but concentrate on what I could do. Um, as I'm sure you know, photographers are always kneeling down, lying down, jumping on tables, trying to find interesting angles. I can't do any of that. I have one shot, which is basically eye level shot. But what I can do and what I focus on is my connection with people and talking to people and the empathy that I have of people caught up in conflicts. You're not hopeless, are you? You're, you're not empty of human optimism. You know, I'm a big, big believer in, in humanity. And people often say to me, you know, how do you cope with going to all these places? But when I go to these places, what I do see is the humanity in people. I see the bonds between families, the strength that comes together in communities. And I think one of the things that's maybe interesting in this book is I don't think anybody can tell the photographs that I took before I was injured and the photographs afterwards. When you have a camera, photography has no disability and it's something that can free up anybody that's been injured. Mm -hmm.